Hey everyone, Wolflord Row here. Today we're talking a little Jagatai Khan. General spoiler warning to begin as the events we're discussing today are from across the Warhammer 40k universe. So you have been warned, and with that said, let's just jump straight in. So last week I did my early rankings on the rest of the Primarch returns before we move into 10th edition. The big names we're still yet to see hit the tabletop and make their triumphant return to the lore. With the return of Lion L. Johnson transpiring right now, it feels like it's a given a traitor Primarch would be next up. To further rank up the threat and danger across the galaxy, before or if, should I say, another loyal Primarch could ever return. And I've spoken over the past couple of months how I feel Rogal Dawn could be the next loyal Primarch to return. How honestly there's virtually no evidence for it. In fact, most likely the least of any loyal Primarch. But how I've just got a gut feeling in my stomach that maybe over the next few years we could see a little movement or tease or two in reference to Rogal. The Heresy series and Siege of Terror in particular feels like it's hugely boosted his popularity. And now with the incoming scouring, seeing and feeling the hostilities erupt between him and Gilliman could make a very intriguing scenario if Rogal ever did return. I can't explain it, I just think Rogal's popularity counts for something. And the recent Hellbrecht quest could have just been the very first minor minor step. However, with that said, I got around to chatting some Jagatai Khan with a friend this week, and it is undeniable, Jagatai's return could well be the easiest, as well as the most likely. Now, if you've been a long-time subscriber to the channel, you know I love Jagatai Khan. Easily my second most loved Primarch behind Lehman Russ. I would love nothing more than to see the Kargan back in his prime. Return to the Imperium and laying waste to its enemies. However, I actually placed him down as my least likely of any Primarch to return last week. And as I said then, this was solely down to the fact that I still feel Jagatai is largely unknown. The Horus Heresy series has done wonders for the character of Jagatai and his legion. Author Chris Rate brought a character to this previously unseen Primarch that just absolutely captivated many of us. His legion's journey in Scars, Path of Heaven and Beyond, has been one of, if not the best storylines of the entire Heresy series. But you only know that if you followed and experienced that journey. And I'm still very surprised how often I can recommend the White Scars Heresy novels as reads to check out for people who ask, who have never dived into them before. That, combined with the relatively slim pickings of White Scar specific models, compared to the major names at least, still has me feeling the White Scars and their Primarch are still one of the most lesser known legions, at least in any real detail beyond the name. And so it does make it hard for me to rank Jagatai any higher. However, I thought it'd be good today to talk of why Jagatai could indeed return, the teases or signs that are actually out there. So, first of all, we know Jagatai is in the webway. We won't spend a lot of time on this as we covered it only last week. But unless we hit a retcon during the scouring, 
Jagger Tycon will pursue a Drukari Lord in battle into the webway, whereupon the portal will cut the Primarch off from the rest of his sons. He could have been lost within this labyrinth wandering its passages for 10,000 years, a prisoner deep within Comorag, or most likely for my opinion, frozen in time in this moment of battle. As we know, there are portions of the webway frozen in time, or reliving the same moment over and over in a never-ending circle. So when Jagatai does hopefully return someday, I personally would expect him to be exactly as he was 10,000 years ago. Now, the signs or teases towards a Kargan return that we have seen within the lore. The first tease we received was within the novel The Last Hunt, where there's a bit of timelinery stuff going on with the Eldari, so I won't get overly complicated here. However, it ends with one timeline of the fourth brotherhood of the chapter entering into the webway in search of their Primarch. You wonder whether you will see your father again, this one you call the Kargan. It is what we yearn for, more than anything, more so even than the other brotherhoods. We believe in being reunited with him. We believe the Kargan still hunts. Whether or not he does, I cannot say, Yenef admitted. But one thing I do know, to find out, you must pass through. Whether or not we'll see this tale concluded, who knows, but it's a clear mention and reference to finding Jagatai Khan. I think we'll discuss this whole tale in depth another day, as it's a pretty interesting one with clear mention to the search for Jagatai. However, moving on, the second sign or mention we received to a possible Jagatai return was in the novel Ashes of Prospero. Here, in our first Space Wolf sighting post-emergence of the Great Rift, we saw Logan Grimnar desperately seeking sign of the returning Lehman Russ. With Gilliman having returned, belief and hope for all the other Primarchs had been ignited. The impossible made a reality. And despite the Stormcaller informing the Great Wolf he found no sign of Russ in his visions, pretty disappointingly for me, he did instead give a clear sighting and sign of two others. None, my lord. There are stirrings, tempests through which even I cannot gaze. Even so, I saw a sleeper entombed in rock, and a white storm that rode upon a chariot of lightning. So, a sleeper entombed in rock, quite clearly Lion L. Johnson, a white storm that rode upon a chariot of lightning. I mean, if that's not Jagatai Khan, I don't know what is. Quite clearly a reference to the White Scars Primarch. Lion L. Johnson and then Jagatai Khan being sighted within visions within the warp. Now, these two books are a few years old now. However, when it comes to a return of a Primarch, we know those breadcrumbs are years in the making. When we get big lore developments, you can usually go back and see the hints from years before. It's one of the great things that GW does, leave those little hints and teases for us out there. And it's safe to say that the sleeper entombed in rock is most certainly making an impact now. And while these two mentions may be a little older, there has been one further one, one a little more recent, which you could even say ups the ante even more so. This one came from the Dawn of Fire series, 
specifically the novel The Wolf Time, where we got another intriguing tease from the inner thoughts of a space wolf no less. The Wolf Time is here, they whispered. Gilliman had been returned to the world of the living. Russ would soon follow. Idle talk, outright speculation that the lion had returned, or the Khan had been seen riding the star skies above the Hell Winter Gate. Now, the thoughts of a space wolf are hardly the most reliable of sources. However, it does move on from mere references to mention of a sighting. Again, given we know he's in the webway, it is incredibly unlikely. However, the point is, it is another tease of the Khan's name. And when we've got the lion now back, having Jagatai mentioned twice alongside him, no Vulcan, no Rogal, no other loyalist name, it does make you think. And now we know how the lion has returned, forming his protectorate within Imperium Nihilus. How can we really rule out this earlier mention that the lion had indeed returned? That there had been a sighting of him out there? Given we now know that that was plausible, can we simply deny this one of Jagatai? Well, to douse those flames somewhat, Wolf Time was a prequel of sorts to Ashes of Prospero. They were both written by the same author, Gav Thorpe. So it is most likely just a useful explanation and tease to the Stormcaller's later vision within Ashes of Prospero. However, in the world of Primarch speculation, a mention is a mention. And anyone you get builds that portfolio of speculation. It felt odds on for the lion to return. And well, now he has. The case is open for the next. And while I doubt it would be Jagatai, I can't deny it could simply be me not wanting to get my hopes up. I did have Russ fairly low down in my prediction rankings as well. I mean, my two most loved Primarchs right near the bottom of the rankings? Surely no coincidence. If I were to go by the simple facts, regardless of any theoretical wider popularity, it's undoubted Jagat Khan has had three definitive mentions. Are they breadcrumbs we'll look back on years down the line? Or just a tease and nothing more? And if there is another loyal Primarch to come, it won't be the Kargan's time to emerge from the webway. But as always everyone, what do you think? Are these three mentions of Jagatai more concrete evidence than anything else we have received about another loyal Primarch? Given that he was mentioned alongside Lion L. Johnson twice, and now the Lion is back, does that make you place more faith in these mentions of Jagatai? That he could indeed be the next loyal Primarch to return? Or like me, do you still just feel that maybe Jagatai and the White Scars need a little more wider recognition? That it's more likely a more popular Primarch would be the next loyal one to return, regardless of the evidence? As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. If you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And if you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. With that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.